At the beginning of the film recap we see that many company workers have come to the sea to drill. That is to dig, to find something in the sea. They were returning home after hard work. But then Rick's manager Magnus gets a call from the head of the company, who tells him that the helicopters that were supposed to pick you up are diverted due to an emergency. Rick means a place in the middle of the sea that has a lot of ships. When Magnus asks when my workers are coming to pick me up, the call cuts off. After that, the entire communication system of the place is also disconnected, through which they can contact anyone. This cuts off the call to the doctor who was calling home and disconnects the radio system of an electrician named Fulmer. Magnus calls a meeting where they say the helicopters aren't coming for us at the moment, which is why all those people are getting very worried. One of them, an old man, asks again and again, why don't they fly helicopters? Now suddenly all the lights go out. Fulmer can see that there are a few lights running from the generator so far and the pressure of Rick's main EC is also pretty good. But if the pressure goes up they will all die. When Fulmer contacts the ship, he discovers that the same problem is happening to you. Now Rick starts to shake badly, the main EC starts to burn. Now the employee of the company, who is a scientist, does not want to shut down the system because the goal has not yet been achieved. But Magnus tells the worker that this is no job, that people's lives matter, so all systems should be shut down immediately. Rick shakes again and now the whole place is filled with thick fog. Now one of the workers suspects that we didn't drill too much in the sea. That is, we didn't dig deep, which is why the earthquake is shaking. But the scientist says no, nothing like that is happening. Whereupon Magnus sends Fulmer and not worker base to check the comm system. While he was working, he saw a dead bird. Magnus and the old man stood waiting for him to come, at which point base comes down from above and falls. Then the scientist and doctor quickly take the first aid kit and get to him so if he is injured they can treat him. Fulmer also comes down and says he was standing behind me, but I don't know what happened, he suddenly fell. But the old man does not believe what is said, because base's rope was opened from which he fell. The doctor also brings base into the medical room and tries to cure him but later says that without the doctor's office and equipment, it can't be cured. The scientist shows Magnus that T is no pressure at all in the pipe and T is the state of all the rigs in the area T. Meanwhile, Base recovers and begins to ponder what he sees as two parts of the sea taking place. The old man secretly retrieves the company's secret file from Magnus's office, who sees this and gets angry. He confiscates all the workers and tells them that the company lied to us. Meanwhile, Magnus also comes E, from which he has to admit that yes, he is telling the truth. A company bans a project that will soon make all your jobs disappear. I was telling everyone right now that we didn't know at the time that the ash had started to fall, which was very strange. Since there was no volcano nearby, which was not a volcano, base also came E, which looked very strange. He says it's been a long time, the destruction has begun. He says it and falls. Later, when I came to my senses, he didn't remember anything about me falling from above or talking about destruction. He just says that when I was awake, I saw something in the fog, after which a strange sound began to play in my mind. Since the doctor can't listen to him, he starts drawing blood, which makes him angry. He says you ignored my warning and did not do well and now a big wave is coming. But as soon as the doctor puts him to sleep and tells the scientist that he is surprised that the wounds heal by themselves. After death, when Base wakes up, he looks at his arms to see something shiny and heals his wounds. They all see that their ship is trying to contact them, but it's moving forward in the wrong place. To see the message, Magnus sends a worker, then it is revealed that the ship is asking them for help. Magnus tells the filmer to send him signals through the lights and find out what he knows about the eruption. The old man was locked in a room, which made him mad with anger. They keep trying to break down the door. In the medical room, Base sees that the wounds have healed. When he looks at himself in the mirror, he thinks that the platform is destroyed. He then comes out of E and comes into the room wearing worker clothes. Now she has a bad headache and a dormant tooth cracks and falls out. Seeing Ra, the scientist says I don't feel well. I'm investigating T, so until then everyone stay inside, don't go out. A filmer arrives and tells them that our ship's communication system has also been broken. And if you wait until morning, it will hit something and destroy itself. We have to burn these lights. To which the scientist says that because of the company contract we can't do that or we may also be prosecuted. To which Magnus says, but we can't lose so many lives in the name of a treaty. So filmmakers, burn out all the lights. Base is starting to do weird things now. He begins to make a journal on the window. Then when the worker asks about T, he says I have a bad headache and I'm so tired I'm starting to think I should have died in that incident. As the light flickered in the room, Base thought again of something so terrifying that time flew by. The old man also broke the window and left. 
the worker steals and drinks alcohol. As soon as you take a bath, your whole body starts to hurt. He vomits and the darkness of the tattoo also begins to come out of his body. But after a while, when the doctor's companion came to you and saw, by then he had died. When even the scientist sees him, he doesn't understand why he died. But when the worker shows him the base gold, he understands that all unnecessary things come from the body. Then when Filmer went out with a companion to check the ship, the old man was already there, who walks in and closes the door. The filmmaker injures his hands while working. And now that road also stops falling, the old man walks in and goes to the control room and sends a signal for help through the lights, which is why the ship is now coming at full speed. When Filmer and his companion saw, they tried to go inside, but the door was closed. Filmer therefore begins to scream. Hearing the voice, Magnus and the doctor's companion came and opened the door and went to stop the old man. When Magnus explains that instead of lying down, send a message to the ship that goes in the wrong direction. Meanwhile, the worker walks through the lights to Base, who is standing outside. He tells him to come in, but Base turns him down, saying that I want to see a water creature that does everything. Now, as the worker walks towards him, he grabs his neck and pulls the water out of his mouth. Now a workman comes and tells him that a very large layer is coming due to a change in the ship's side. Come in quickly. Base, hearing this, leaves him and runs inside alone. Magnus arrives and tries to bring the worker to his senses, but he was dead. When the scientist puts the blood on the ashes, it is found that there are some small animals in the ashes, which are insects. He then calls Magnus and the doctor and tells them that an examination of the ashes revealed that there were some animals in it, which were insects, who are looking for such a person, whose body they could not protect and included him among themselves. Whoever it enters the body of, it quickly heals the wounds, because it takes a strong body to spread that insect. Therefore, we must stay away from the ashes, and like base, all people who have wounds in their bodies will need to be protected. Magnus says I don't feel anything right in base. No, take everyone's blood samples to mix with base's blood and see. Now the smoke is slowly starting to clear and the nearby river is completely destroyed. Base has been looking at science papers, but as soon as the smoke appears, he gets angry. Meanwhile, a scientist arrives and sees that Base has taken a blood sample. Once he asks for the sample, he steals it and runs away from me, meaning he can't do the testing. Because of T, Magnus says, let's do T, check on the other injured people. He then calls a meeting where he tells everyone that from now on we will be working in two teams. One team checks the whole facility well and the other team finds base. Through research, the scientist discovers that this small insect is from the era of the dinosaurs, whose extinction was with the dinosaurs, but they seem to have revived thanks to drilling in the river. Base throws the blood sample into the water and now all the wounds have been completely healed. To try it, put your hand in the water tank, which makes all the water filled with small insects. But once Base's companion arrives, he quickly hides. As soon as the friend sees the little insect in the water, he starts calling for the rest. But Base attacks him and runs away from me. Then two workers come and pick it up and see that plants have grown instead of the little insect. Base's friend is also now starting to have a tooth, meaning he is now infected as well. It means that whatever was he also came under the influence. He was so scared because it will kill the worker and he runs away from me. When the doctor's companion descends, he sees base growing plants, e.g. After learning from a very old memory that the creatures of Tea Place are being killed. And if they are not saved, they will not be able to survive. Meanwhile, base's friend also arrives and agrees with him. But now when the old man comes e, they both run away from me. Full Merlado is fine but I forgot the main problem fire. He had to rekindle it or it would be destroyed. Due to which the rig's destruction is also confirmed. But all the control of that main part is in the lower part. But if you go T, you can spread the infection because it's a shiny thing and little insects are T. Because of T, someone will have to go up and light the main part. Then the worker himself takes care of all the checking and sends Fulmer to the main part. It moves forward and aims very well, setting fire to the main section. But Fulmer himself was badly injured, after which he was immediately taken to the medical room. At the bottom we were base, the thoughts are getting more and more terrible. He sees that if this little insect must be saved, then the entire rig system will have to be shut down. T. Fulmer recovers and begins research, but knowingly or unknowingly, he makes the same round circle on the copy as base. Magnus calls everyone to the control room. Because base is down in the control room, all platform security is lost. Due to this, the pressure increased more than the limit. Now they send a camera device into the water and they see that there are a lot of round circles on the ground because of the earthquake, which reminds Fulmer of drawing. 
Now, because of T, the worker descends to the control area and stops the system to terminate T's security, which is why Base's plan failed. He gets very angry. It will start hacking the direct system from the computer again. But your alarm goes off. Because of this, he was unable to succeed in the plan. The worker receives a message from which it is determined that the communication system has been repaired. Magnus also immediately sends a message to the guard to ask for help. While Fulmer tries to find out about those round circles. T. While the doctor was talking to the nurse, then the earthquake started to move towards the earth. Because of which the signals and the internet stop working to a large extent. Because of this, the guard could not receive the message of Magnus sent to help him. Using the power of this small insect, Base attempts to contact Fulmer's body. Due to this, the wounds will start to increase. Along with the tea, Base's voice begins to appear in Fulmer's mind. That's why he goes to the bathroom to see the wounds. Now, when he is looking for him, the scientist also comes, e.g. When Fulmer saw T, he is shocked, because he saw Base's shadow in the mirror for a moment. He tells the scientist about everything that happened to him, which gives him relief. Now Fulmer remembers going away when Base calls him. After a while, a scientist will come to him, we will not find him, but we will find a knot left by him. Now when the scientist and the doctor see Fulmer going to the bottom, they follow him too. Now the shiny things and small insects won't bite the doctor, but will start to wander around him. See which scientist leads him away from E. On the platform, all the people were very happy, because a ship was approaching them from a nearby platform. After arriving on the ship, the scientist meets an elderly man who used to work in a research laboratory. As soon as it arrives, the senior goes straight to the control room. The doctor will check the other people coming in for any injuries. One worker was very surprised to see that my companion had also arrived on the same boat. Now the senior says that because of the high pressure my rig broke. The scientist asks him why he was sent to the T rig. He doesn't answer. Now the newly arrived worker says that when T senior came to our platform, he sent a lot of tools to the bottom of the sea. Because I wasn't removing the oil, but sending something else down with the tools. Then the fog came and people started disappearing. But the senior was still normal. Looking at him, it seemed like he wanted to. He didn't care about increasing the pressure at all. I actually sent the tool and what it wanted to test was just paying attention. Because of this, our entire facility was destroyed. But before the device was destroyed, they deleted all the test data. The company also sent letters to him and the company, which meant they knew everything from the beginning and the company deliberately sent him an E. Looking at the research of Dr. Scientist, it is said that the T circle is the recognition of five different things, and the fifth circle is the destruction that spreads, which means we will die very soon. Senior says the infected people in my rig set fire to the oil well, to kill all these deadly insects. Then he says I want to send some people to the main part. But Magnus refuses, saying no, I can't put my people in danger. T. Fulmer also meets Boz and a companion. Boz says that these insects will soon spread throughout my body. Senior says that in order to stop the Boz, we will have to take the carbon dioxide into the ventilation system that is below, we Boz. And carbon dioxide will take over inflated bottles. Then when the senior brings the bottles, the worker doubts, because it said something else was added to it besides carbon dioxide. He then takes the cylinders with him to the lower part of my boss. In addition, they also connect the connection of the cylinder to the ventilation system. He sees Boz's friendy, who was in bad shape because he was vomiting blood, from which they understood that it was dying due to the high content of carbon dioxide. Plants also die due to tea, and that was the senior's plan. That is why the old man and the Sunday worker will run away from you, but one worker will stay with a friend of Boz. Fulmer then attempts to shut down the ventilation system, but in Boz both pass out. The doctor sees that after the two of them came out, the senior closed all the doors of the lower section. Because of T, a companion who stopped by for Boz's friend was stuck inside. The condition gets so bad that he dies. Now they all come and ask the old man that although it was dangerous, so why did you mix carbon dioxide into the ventilation system? He then says that it is not a danger but a way to stay alive. A scientist goes to the bottom to shut off the ventilation system, Fulmer also lying unconscious. She tries to bring him to consciousness, but he does not come. But now, as soon as he put his hand on the plants, Fulmer opened his eyes. She regained consciousness. Then they both leave E. Boz also had his eyes open. She also regained consciousness. And now the fifth circle was also closed. Now Valkar narrates that the senior raised the test tube to the maximum. So the rig will be destroyed and all these little insects will be killed. 
Then the senior came with us in a small boat and let many people die. Then when Magnus talks to the elder about tea, he says it's my company's policy that no matter what happens, we will not abandon drilling. So that's why the company sent me to kill those animals and insects. Because if they are not exterminated, they will spread throughout the world. And to stay alive, we'll have to kill all these infected people too. But the scientist does not agree with this at all. He says Fulmer can give us a better suggestion than T. T. Boz feels that this insect is blocking the system in my body, after which there will be no earthquake E. Fulmer tries to contact Boz, from which it was found that these animals, these insects clean the whole sea. But one scientist says that the number of insects is very high, so attacking them will be useless. We should only talk to the Both, we can stop them. Because he can only connect with this insect, he can talk. Then, when the three go to the bottom, then Boz cries. That it is too late, I have failed in my work. Everyone knew about the senior's intentions. Therefore, he tells the new worker that if you support me, I can save you and your companion from me. Now the worker was suspicious that the elder should not destroy the device as well. He turns on the microphone, causing everyone on speakerphone to start listening to the senior's calls. Now when an earthquake starts, the senior will trigger the system to destroy the platform. At the same time, e-helicopters also arrived and began to contact them. But because the senior wants to survive alone, he comes. Seeing him, the doctor and companion follow him, while the new worker and companion try to stop the explosion. Then he goes and tells everyone that we stopped the explosion, but it will be devastation. A tsunami will come. We have to get out of E soon. Before leaving, the old man slaps the senior man hard. Now the earthquake was getting bigger, reverberating from below. But Boz decides to stop E because he wants to prove to these insects that you are good people among people. After that, all the remaining people get into the helicopter and finally fly away. But then a tsunami comes and takes the entire platform in its arms. Boz, who is alive, but glows with that insect. Now the tsunami is approaching the city and is starting to destroy you too, in which many people are killed, with which the season ends here. Hope you like the recap.